What's going on everybody? It is Monday and I am so frustrated right now with UPS. My wheels and tires were supposed to be at the shop on Friday. Three of the four wheels and tires were delivered. The other wheel and tire has been saying out for delivery for two days now. I am at my wits end with these guys. I've called them 10 times. Nobody can tell me where my package is. Today we've got an unboxing. As you can see by the title, this is the G Paddles. This is to convert your button style shifter that was on the AMG, the early AMGs, to paddles. Let's take a look at this. Go ahead and open it up. This came from um, England. Um, just be aware if you order these that um, you will have to sign for the package. Uh, it kind of took me off guard and got to the post office today. There were 700 people in line for the holidays. But thank goodness that some lady walked out and said, is anyone just picking up? So first thing I notice is the package is almost open, but oh well, hopefully there's nothing wrong with it. So that the G paddles are inside and that there's instructions here. Literally was hardly closed at all. Go ahead and get that rest of that open. See what's inside here. Looks like we got some instructions here about that they emailed me. The real instructions. And we've got this um, got this other page here. So there's one thing you gotta know about this. The factory button holder which you will see when we install this is very delicate. They do not make that button holder anymore. If you damage it, you need a new steering wheel. There are ways to get this thing out though, um, involving heating that unit, that button holder up so that it's more pliable. If you don't, you're gonna break this little tab off. Picture it like this, um, basically, this is not dirty looking at all, is it? Um, there is a, a little button holder the stock button is like has um, two tabs on the side like this that fit inside these little round things. Okay, to get that button out, you have to pop this those uh, little tabs out. But when you do, most people break off this little circle that covers it. It's almost um, I don't even know how to describe it, but the pin goes inside this little half circle that allows it to turn. Most people break that off right there because they just turn too much a hurry and they don't heat the housing. So inside here we've got this uh, nifty little, I guess it's an air freshener, British flag <laughs> air freshener. And then inside here we've got uh, G-Paddles. So they are silver. Um, you can get other colors, but I mean, if you really want other colors, just paint them. That's G-Paddle number one. So there's the mechanism. So if you see what I'm saying here, these two pins, right there, right there, they fit in two little circles that are pivot points, and this part presses the actual button, and this part would be this left side, I believe, so when you pull it towards you, it pushes the button. So that part inside the, the, the holder, button holder, that's part that goes around this pin is what people usually break off. So here is button number two. I will put the instructions for this with this video. There's button number two. So um, it's going to probably be like, like that I'm guessing. But the opposite of the way it's facing you. Yeah, that side would face you. There's the two together. So, look for video number two of this, which would be installing these beautiful G paddle button replacements. We we'll throw these back in here right now. And any day now, you can look forward to a video of brand new wheels and tires. I won't tell you anything about the wheels. 
except that they are matte black. And I was kind of trying to save that, but I gave it away in another video. So look for that video coming up soon, and we'll see you guys in the next day or two.